few common mistakes that people make when they're defending against the hooks or the uppercuts is that if you're using your forearms, is to never reach out. If you see the hook coming, you don't do this. Right? If you see the uppercut coming, you don't do that. We understand that if there's space, there's opportunity. Hey guys, Coach Vic here from the Thai Boxing Institute of Marvis of California. Today we're going over how to defend against hooks and uppercuts, either using the forearm defense or the lean. We covered straight punch defense using the forearm block to remove, recover the target. You can use the same logic and apply that to either uppercut defense or hook defense. Now, in addition to replacing the target, we can remove the target using the lean. First technique we're gonna cover is using a forearm to defend against an uppercut. An uppercut is typically targeting the, the chin or underneath the guard. So if we, if we take a look at what our guard looks like, yeah, is that the triangle that we spoke about in earlier videos. Now, the bottom is where the, the typical entry for an uppercut is gonna be. So what I'm gonna do is, yet again, if it's a left strike, I'm gonna use my left arm to defend against it. If it's a right strike, I'm using my right arm to defend against it. And I'm simply just timing the strike, the uppercut, and as the strike is coming, I'm gonna replace that center line, the bottom part, and use my forearm to remove the target. We're we'll starting our five stance. Hands up, chin down, leg shoulder width apart. As I see my opponent load and take the step for the uppercut, I'm gonna imagine it coming underneath. I'm gonna keep myself tight and tucked. And as I see that uppercut coming, I replace the target. Remember when we use our form, we wanna to start to learn to engage our body. What that does is that it also minimizes the force that the, the strike has on, has on us, like the impact, but it can also work to parry using our form. The uppercut's coming from underneath. Tuck tight, remove the target. The same logic can be applied towards using the left arm to defend against the right uppercut. So here in a five stance, hands up, chin down, leg shoulder width apart. I see my opponent throw the right uppercut. I'm in my guard, keep myself tight. See the uppercut coming from underneath, replace the target. Back to stance. I see the right uppercut coming. Left arm defends against it. And you want to notice my body sort of shift and move towards that center line. The second series of techniques that we're going to work on is defending against the hooks using our forearm. Let's take a look at what our guard looks like. So from the front, we have what I call this little this triangle right here in the front. That's the center line. And that's typically where straight punches are gonna go or uppercuts from underneath. Now, if we turn to the side, right, if we're by, by chance uh, perpendicular to our opponent, our guard is gonna look like this. Either here, this little triangle, or on the right side, this little triangle. What we're trying to do with our forearms is to, to minimize the size of that triangle or possibly just uh, close that the space that we have available to our opponent. First thing I want you to just be able to do is to react to the hook and use your form and even your, the palm of your hand, your glove to remove the target. What your opponent's trying to do is trying to hit you right on the, on the side of the jaw or the chin on either side. And what we're doing is we're replacing that target using our form. So from the front view, it's gonna look like so. I imagine that hook coming, I block with my forearm. From the side, let's take a look at that. Now I'm gonna try my best because I have uh, bad elbow mobility from holding pads, so it's hard for me to sort of defend against hooks, but let's, let's imagine I can bring my arm all the way down. Let's check it out though. Here my fight stance, I see the punch coming, I see the left hook, I use my right arm, defend, defend. Now we can imagine that this is the space that they're gonna to try to strike. And if I have my glove here, I'm gonna use my arm, tuck itself, remove that target. Back to guard. Tuck, 
Back to guard one more time, tuck, back to guard. Now we're gonna go over defending against the right hook. We start here in our fight stance, hands up, chin down. And yet again, the same logic applies that we're trying to just remove the target. We replace it with our own forearm or maybe using the, the glove as well. Start in our fight stance, hands up, chin down. I see that right punch coming. I defend, tuck, remove, and replace. Remove and replace. Remove and replace. Yet again, this entire time my, my guard is tight, my chin is tucked, and I'm sort of like, I'm, I'm bracing for the strike coming towards me. I want you to take a look at it from this side. And yet again, I apologize for my, my elbow mobility, but I want you to, to understand the space that's open and what we're trying to do to defend against the hook, what, what we're trying to achieve. So. My stance, I see the right hook coming. This is where it's aiming towards, and I just want to remove this target. Remove, remove, remove. Keep this tight. If I could, I would bring my left glove, tuck it tight between my ear, and use my, my bicep and shoulder to protect against my chin and jaw. Now there's a few details that one must consider when defending against the hooks. One of them is using the whole arm to defend against the strike. And not just using your, your forearm or your glove, but even more so using your bicep and your shoulder to protect against your chin and your jaw. So you kind of tuck yourself in, both against the left hook and the right hook. Yeah. Now the second thing is being able to time the punch and, and, and time the, the defense, but also work a sort of deflection so as to not just get hit completely with either punch but rather be able to use your body to sort of roll off the impact of the punch and that's going to yet again we're doing these things to minimize the amount of, of damage that we could potentially take the second style of defense that we're going to work on against hooks and uppercuts is going to be the lane now the lane is going to be your introduction to head movement and the lean is one of the more versatile styles of head movements that one can use within the sport of Muay Thai. The lean can be used to defend against basically any strike from the waist up. What the lean is, is we're removing the target in the sense that we're not using a, a hand or forearm to either deflect or replace the target, but rather we're removing it completely. And what that's going to do is that's going to cause our opponent to hopefully <laughs> miss a strike. So I'm going to start my fight stance. Hands up, chin down, legs shoulder width apart. I see the strike coming. Left or right, hook or uppercut, it doesn't matter. What matters is that I time the strike and as I feel it coming close towards me, I'm going to take a step back with my right leg, but I'm going to leave my lead leg planted. As I take a step with my back leg, my right leg, I'm gonna sort of lean my head back and hopefully we'll feel the wisp of the strike moving from my opponent initiating it across my face and completely missing. Take a step, lean back to stance. Take a step, lean back to stance. When I lean, I wanna keep my chin down. Step, lean back to stance. My back leg is going to stay posted and keep me based and balanced so that I may return back to my stance. One more time. Now, the, the second version of the lean is the more preferred version because what I'm doing is I'm creating a very seamless profile. What that's doing is I'm going to drop my lead hand and create just a, a very a very negative space against my opponent's attack. Meaning, when I lean with my hand up, my lead hand up, this, this arm is still out here. So there's, there's still opportunity for them to kick you. Now this might not be the most detrimental attack, right? But whether it's a kick or a punch, what can happen is they might knock you off balance. And as we understand in Muay Thai, balance is everything. So let's take a look at the more uh, intermediate version of the lean. Check it out. So we're here in our five stands. Hands up, chin down, legs shoulder width apart. 
Now, whether it's a left-sided attack or a right-sided attack, the lean will be applied in the same manner. I'm not gonna lean towards one side or the other to favor it, but in fact, I'm leaning neutrally straight back. Right leg steps back, I feel the punch coming, lean. In this instance, my lead arm drops down to my hip and I create a very seamless profile with no, no opportunity to get struck by any of my opponent's strikes. Lean, back to stance, lean, back to stance. Here are my fight stance. I visualize a punch coming towards me, a hook, an uppercut, doesn't matter. I take that step back, drop my lead arm. And look, when I take that step back, my back foot is engaged, right? I don't wanna be flat footed because there might be the opportunity where I overcommit on my lean and knock myself off balance, right? I always wanna have that back foot engaged so that I can either go back to my stance seamlessly or be able to transition to a counter right away. Here my fight stance, hands up, chin down. I feel the punch coming towards me. I lean, time it, back to stance. One more time. Lean, time it, back to stance. Lean, back to stance. Lean, back to stance. Lean, back to stance. We're not necessarily dropping both, both hands, both arms from our guard. I always want to keep my right hand up because that's that's the side that's gonna be closest to my opponent. Like, meaning, uh, typically, someone that you're gonna fight is, is orthodox. So their left hand, their lead side of the body, is gonna be closer to my right side of the body. And that's just gonna be my, my insurance to make sure that if I do get hit, I don't get hurt. Let me give you guys five different combinations to work on. We start off with learning how to defend against the hooks using a um, forearm block and countering with the, uh, the opposite side, which is the left side. Now, there are two things that are happening. One is that we're working on our defense reflex as well as our countering reflex. So the first combination is gonna be jab, block the left hook with the right forearm, counter with the left hook. So it's gonna look like this, check it out. Jab, block, hook, counter. Jab, block, hook, counter. Take a step with that first jab. I see the counter coming. I block it and I counter it with my own counter. Yet again, taking a step again for the left hook. One more time, jab, block, hook, back to stance. The second combination is gonna work uh, similarly. You're gonna throw a left uppercut and I'm gonna counter with my left hook. We're gonna be in our fight stance, hands up, chin down, and visualize my opponent throwing the left uppercut. I defend it with my forearm, counter with my left hook. So check it out, second combination, jab, Block, hook, jab, block, hook. Remember, I stay tight. Once I'm done with the, the defense, I go back to my fight stance, throw the counter. One more time, jab, block, hook. Third combination, we're gonna go jab, block the right hook with the left forearm, counter with the right cross. Very simple, check it out. Jab, block, counter, jab, Block, counter. Notice how I use my body, I kind of slightly roll away so that my right side is loaded and the counter happens immediately. One more time, jab, block, counter. Always make sure that you step with your counters. Fourth combination, defending against the right uppercut. Using the left forearm, countering with the right cross. Check it out. Jab. Block, cross, jab, block, cross, jab, block, cross. One more, jab, block, cross. Last combination we're gonna work on is leaning. So off of the jab, you take that step for the jab, you're gonna lean, counter with the right hand. Making sure you take that step back with the lean and then step forward with the left, with the left foot to counter with the right cross. Jab, lean, cross. Jab, lean, cross. Pay attention to what the lead, the lead hand is doing, the left hand. Jab, I drop it for the lean, and when I throw my cross counter, I keep it back up, cross, back to stance. One more time, 
jab, lean, cross, back to stance. A few common mistakes that people make when they're defending against the hooks or the uppercuts is that if you're using your forearms is to never reach out. If you see the hook coming, you don't do this. All right, if you see the uppercut coming, you don't do that. We understand that if there's space, there's opportunity. So anytime you see whether it's a hook or an uppercut coming at you, make sure you remain tight. And if you can, at best, roll away from either strike. If you're working on your lean, really, there's only one opportunity to lean, right? Your, your back only has so much uh, leeway and flexibility. So when you lean, you, you, you lean back, straight to your guard, back to stance or to a counter. Avoid leaning back further, further, and further, or at, at worst is like leaning and then moving backwards and then losing your balance, right? Balance is key, tight guard, chin down, lean once. Hopefully you guys enjoyed all those offensive techniques. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you film yourself, tag us at the Thai Boxing Institute or use the hashtag TBI Home Workout if you'd like for me to critique your technique. I promise I'll be nice. Thank you for watching.